But here's one thing that I just don't think we can do when it comes, especially to the 49er quarterback. I don't think we get to do this. We didn't get to do it with Draymond, and and, and there were some parallels there, and, and it's this. Well, but if you took this guy and you put him on that team, and then you put that guy and you put him on this team, then what do you get? I don't know, a fictional story? I don't, what, what, if Trevor Lawrence was a Niner and Brock Purdy was a Jag, then what? Well, the only true answer is we have no idea. Right, right. Absolutely no freaking idea. And just because you think Trevor would be great because he was the number one overall pick, understand that that is a figment of our imagination. You're allowed to have it as an opinion. It's never going to be provable. And there have been a number of number one overall picks who have ended up in great situations and failed. Trevor is good. <laughs> He's good. He's good. He's not Brock. He has not been Brock in the National Football League. And while I totally get the point you made earlier with regard to like Okay, he's had a lot of different coaches and a weird start. The Urban Meyer thing was a hot mess. Yep. Dude, last year, Trevor had a situation now. I think he had a situation. He had an easy division. He had a Super Bowl winning offensive guru. He had a real receiving core, a real tight end, a real running back. He had all those things and couldn't even couldn't even win the division. Couldn't even get into the playoffs. That that's a failure, to me. Yeah, and you know nine and eight for the season, and a little bit a uh, little bit reckless with the football. That's been his biggest problem. A lot of fumbles and a lot of interceptions. And you had it on a tee late in the year where you had a couple of easier opponents and winnable games, and you couldn't get it done. So yeah, I think that that ultimately falls on the quarterback as we like to you know give them credit for everything and give them blame for everything at the same time. And yet. Even though he had a little bit of a wobbly year, he gets $55 million a year. So that, I think, is where we start the conversation with Brock Purdy. And you mentioned in our show thread that, I guess, Butcher Boy this morning was saying 45 or 50 or I'm out. Well, he as was if to imply, right. like, if it's more than $50 million a year, then we got to go ahead and part ways yeah, with Purdy. Yeah, I, I saw his quote, and, and he's talking about percentage of the cap. Right. And so if it goes north of 20%, first of all, we're dealing with a cap next year. We don't know exactly what the number is yet. So maybe he's just throwing out a number that's sort of an estimate. But his point was, if it goes north of 20%, I'm out. And it's like, I I fully, you know, without saying I understand the cap, because I'm not going to tell you I'm a capologist, I'm not. I understand the concept there, but I just think it's a simpler question for NFL teams. You want to keep your quarterback or not? So there, there's your question for Brock Purdy. Yeah. And I know what most of you would say. Of course you want to keep him. Right. Of course you want to keep Well, <laughs> There are 11 quarterbacks who have more than 20% of their team's cap, okay. according to Spot Track. How are those teams doing? Uh, Cincinnati okay. would be one. Joe Burrow is almost 25% of the cap. They're a good team. Yep. You got Buffalo. Uh, the Chargers, Good team. always curious because yep. Herbert just got his deal and now you've got a new head coach, so you're hoping that he ticks upward. Lamar Jackson, the MVP. Good team. Patty Mahomes, two-time Super Bowl champ. Uh, they're doing well. Jalen Hurts, uh, Super Bowl appearance just a year ago. Good team. Uh, Calamari, that is an embarrassing contract that totally. they regretted as soon as the ink was dry. Deshaun Watson, C, Kyler mm-hmm. Murray, yep. same kind of a, of a situation. Dak Prescott, that's one to watch, I think, going forward. Does Dallas really want to retain him and give him another whopper of a contract? And if they don't, then what do they do? Is it the Trey Lance era that begins in 2025? Of course they're going to pay him. And then it's Trevor Lawrence and Jared Goff. Okay, so... Jared Goff made it to the NFC Championship, (laughs) you know, and Trevor Lawrence is... Everybody's golden child. Right, so uh, every, th- that whole list, is everything perfect with all of those teams? No. No. Would you like to be represented by all of the other teams in the NFL? So there's those 11 teams. Now, uh, let's go to all of the other ones. What are the other 21 teams? There's the 49ers, yep. and then I would argue a bunch of teams that are <clears throat> not good. Like you just named all the good teams. Pretty much. 
There's Houston. They just drafted their guy. Yep. So there's that. Outside of that, how are we doing? Is anybody you Miami about to pay him? Niners about to pay him. Like those are the good teams. So am I afraid of giving Brock Purdy north of twenty percent of the cap? Nope. Nope. Because honestly, I guess that that, that to me is, is sort of the end all in this conversation. What's your other option? What are you proposing? You do. Those of you who are like, I'm not paying Brock that. Okay. What's your proposal? Josh Dobbs. <laughs> Tanner Mordecai. Are we doing the draft again with your 29th overall pick or wherever the Niners end well, up? Just wait till the seventh round. You'll find somebody. I, I don't know what they're. Jed York spoke about this already in front of a microphone because he knows. Yeah. There isn't another option. You pay your guy. Right. The three things in football you have to do, draft a quarterback, protect the quarterback, rush the quarterback. You drafted a quarterback, and he turns out to be pretty good. Top five in the MVP last year. Protect the quarterback, you have maybe the best left tackle in football, and some say one of the best left tackles of all time. Rush the quarterback, you just paid Nick Bosa more money than any defensive player has ever been paid. So if you want to check three boxes, you've checked those three boxes. And then you have a great tight end, the best running back, a good wide receiver core, an elite coach, and a solid defense. What more do you want? So if Brock Purdy goes out this year and he struggles, let's say he has the kind of year that Trevor Lawrence had last year. Okay. Which I think was 24 touchdowns, uh, 13 interceptions right in there, and 4,000 yards. Uh, Trevor Lawrence last year, 4,016 yards, yep. 21, 21 TDs, TDs, 14 okay. picks. I had the numbers. I was yeah, close, which but I was is, wrong. Which is, eh. So let's say Brock Purdy has that year. Yep. Okay. Does he, what does he get? Does he get $50 million? For uh, sure he gets $50 yeah, million. for sure he gets 50 50 is not even, again, 50 is... Right. Three million less than Jared Goff. That's Daniel Jones' money. Yeah, basically. Oh yeah, what did Daniel get? Forty. Yeah, 40. 40. He got 40, forty in the number, I think. Yeah. But it, his cap number this year is forty-seven point nine. But like you said, numbers go up every year. Mm-hmm. If they go nine and eight, and Brock Purdy has a Trevor Lawrence year, he's still probably going to get fifty. 50- 